So today we are checking out Endul. This is a review of the sound environment application that allows you to be more productive with sound at work. So I'm gonna be giving you my opinion from using it for the last two months. This is gonna be my honest feedback um, and sharing a little bit about the experience of using the app. So hopefully you find today's video useful. If you are new here, before we begin, make sure to subscribe. It'd be amazing to have you in this community and we do plenty of features on productivity tools and apps, which I'm sure sure you'll enjoy and of course uh, it's not always these companion apps that we do so uh, if you want a to-do list note taker or anything like that we have plenty of features that'll help so it's weird because this isn't actually a productivity app it's actually a companion app it's something that helps assist your work and helps you stay focused across the day and it was actually a company that i've kept my eye on for a fair while i only really checked it out about four or five months ago and then i was uh, it offered to try it out for an extended period of time i thought I'd give it a go. Now Endul apparently uses patented technologies that are science-based and it's quite interesting at the way they do this. So obviously like what you do in the application is you open up a audio environment. What they do is they base it off of a, a range of different inputs in real time. So for example things like location, weather, heart rate and even the time of day is all factored into how they actually create the audio soundtrack for you and that's pretty cool. It uses things like circadian rhythm, pentatonic scale and sound masking to help do that. And you can read more detailed explanations of that on their website because they're big words and they do mean more in the background. So I quite like how it's science-based and sort of um, put through the, the tests with it. It also won Apple Watch of the year 2020. And I've used applications like this in the past, like Brain FM, and I found Brain FM pretty good. This is actually probably the second sound environment application I've used. And I quite like Brain FM because it did like coffee shop backgrounds and things like that. Very nice sort of relaxing beats when you're working but at the same time this application seems very much tailored towards you know you uh, and designing uh, environments for your needs at the time which I think is pretty cool. So when you open the application uh, you're met with some beautiful visuals that appear on the screen when you're playing the certain soundscape and there are a range of soundscapes to choose from. Deeper focus, focus, relax, sleep and AI lullaby are some of the popular ones that I use and they're adding more on a routine basis. For example, even a deeper focus one was added in the last two months that I've joined, and they're adding an additional one, which I'll speak to about later. It's available on iOS, Mac, and Android and web, and you can use all those different modes, or you can set a specific time that you want to be working on something, from ranging from deep focus to meditation to chill. There are a few different modes that you can actually get started on straight away. Now, there are some awesome so, sort of sleep ones. So the AI lullaby, I find quite helpful. At night, I put it under my pillow, and play the, the audio so it doesn't disturb my wife and actually I find it to help put me to bed quite relaxing sort of tunes and when I read my Kindle before, if all goes to plan, it does keep me calmer before bed and give me a sort of more relaxing start to my sleep. The deeper focus one is probably one that you'd use when you're doing uh, more deep work, a concept by Cal Newport, but I have used it recently in coffee shops to do writing sessions and things like that, and I actually find it to be pretty effective. What I quite like about it is it does adapt to the way that you're working. So for example, I do notice there are higher peaks to the certain and sort of waves and flows that they do. And also I do find it adapts as the temperature changes as well. So I found myself in certain situations where I've been playing it for like 20 minutes and been interrupted, which I hate, but I've also found situations where I've been using it for two hours and have been completely in the zone, writing three or four articles more than I would say normally do on uh, Medium. Obviously I find this always really hard to measure because it's not very tangible sometimes, but I have found that using it has improved the way that I work. This is probably because I already listen to songs and music like this. For example, Logic, I listen to quite regularly on Spotify. And I always find when I'm in a flow with that, whether that's working out or doing a little bit of work, I find that I always tend to perform better. And if I'm listening to, uh, you know, stuff in the background, like podcasts and stuff that would distract me, I always find I do a little bit worse with the focus. But I'd say this slightly tips those things like uh, logic and also lo-fi chills on YouTube. 
I find that, that this definitely has improved that. So I think it's probably more suited for people like me who are open to having music in the background that assists with their productivity. If you're somebody that has an Apple Watch, they have a pretty powerful Apple Watch that won last year's 2020 Design Awards, I believe it was, or Apple Watch of the Year 2020, because of the way that it helps track your, your heart rate and adapt some music to it. And that's something that I don't have. So obviously it would probably be even better if you had an Apple Watch with you too. Now, in terms of pricing, it's $49.99 a year, which is steep. But again, I guess this is a sort of new wave product where if you are someone that listens to music on a regular basis and you want something that's science back to help assist you with it and that would help to tailor towards your productivity, then it might be a good investment for you. For example, if you you know pay $9.99 a month for Spotify, this is going to be five times that for the year. But if you do it and use it for work and you find it does benefit you, then that's something that probably is a good investment but what I would say is probably you need to find out whether this is suits you before you commit to it this is something that I think it depends on what type of person you are I'm definitely the type of person that already listens to this sort of stuff in the background but has been very much benefited from using an application like this so they've actually released another soundscape well they should be roughly include information below one with a collaboration uh, with Alan Watts called Wiggly Wisdom apparently it's quotes with functional and scientific back sounds to help motivate comfort anxiety and help people happier and it's i've listened to it in the preview and i'm pretty impressed with it it's pretty cool as a way of sort of keeping you focused i always love listening to those songs on spotify that have uh, echoes of quotes that have been from uh, you know individuals over history it's really interesting to hear so all in all, this application is probably best suited for people that use sound in their day and productivity uh, already. Ones that want to start using the data that they provide, for example, things like um, the real-time information like personal inputs, you know, your location, heart rate, time of day and weather, to start using it to help you be more productive. I'd definitely try it for a month. They gave me a one-month code to, for you guys to try out, but it's something that is quite high in price, but at the same time, if it's an investment for you then this might be a good bet hopefully folks um i gave you all the information you need to know in my experience the last two months have been pretty good with it and i'm pretty impressed at the way that it works i love this fact that it does it using science i like that because science is very clever and it probably knows a lot more than you do when it comes to you know working out the best solutions to your work and i found that i've been a lot more productive using the deeper focus playlists and also a lot more relaxed in the evening using the ai lullaby uh, which has been really helpful. So folks, that my, that's my review on Endor. Everything will be in the description below. If you're new here again, it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So make sure to hit subscribe today and uh, I'll talk to you all in a future video. Cheerio.